It may have escaped your attention, but on Twitter, Porsche is running a tournament of colours. They have pitted 64 Porsche paint colours against each other in a tournament and have asked us to vote for our favourites. Each colour even has a seed, and there are four categories, metallic, non-metallic, classic and modern. So today we celebrate Porsche colours in all their glory. We will look at the tournament, my top five Porsche colours, and I will also take you through Porsche's paint to sample program and how it works. But first, a quick look at the tournament. We are in week two of three, and so far, some colours that I thought would easily make the final week have been voted out. Here are the leaderboards. In the classic category, the usual favourite Irish Green is still there, although I'm a little surprised that Guards Red has taken out Signal Orange. Oak Green was pretty unfairly pitted against the number one seed, Mexico Blue, uh, and was voted out, and the bold choice of Viper Green is still going strong too. Turning to the modern category, as a big fan of yellow Porsches, I'm pleased to see Racing Yellow is doing well. But other than that, it really looks as if a blue Porsche is going to win this one. As much as I love the darker green Porsches, I find Adventurine Green a little insipid for my tastes. And Lava Orange, the number one seed in this category, is out, pitted against the well-loved Gentian Blue. I think that may go on to win its category, with number two seed Amethyst Metallic out in the first round. In the non-metallic category, I think the race is going down predictable lines. Some real love for black, which uh, does look terrific on all Porsches, I must say. But otherwise, it's the golf colours that seem to be in with the strongest shot here. What do you do, though, if you can only pick one of the golf colours and not both? Well, we're about to find out, and I suspect orange will win that one. And then finally, the metallic colours. Number one seed, Amazon Green, is already out, which is a little surprising. I thought that one would be very popular, and again, black in the form of jet black is going the distance. I must say that I'm not passionate about any of the colours in this category. They all seem to blend into each other, and none of them are really very distinctive. I suppose it's interesting that when you see so many black, grey or silver cars on the road that these colours really aren't doing very well. The choices that people are making in this tournament don't seem to reflect the choices owners make in real life. I'd love to see more orange and yellow Porsches, as we shall see when we get to my top five a little later in this video. Keep a watch out on Twitter to see who wins the Tournament of Colours, but let's turn our attention to Porsche's Paint to Sample programme. If you are an addict of Porsche's car configurator as much as I am, then you'll know that when you select your paint colour, there is an $11,340 option in the USA, which says Exterior in Custom Colour, which, when you click on it, tells you that you can order a free choice of colour from a list of tested and approved colours, minimum lead time of six months. So how does that work? And what does the palette of colours look like? And how is choosing a colour from a list paint to sample in any way? Because it sounds like it's just an extended list over the standard list. Well, you can actually supply your own sample to your dealer and Porsche will consider it. You have to supply a sample of a letter-sized painted piece of metal in the colour of your choice with your order to the dealer and then the process starts. And it's one that does not come with any guarantee at all that you'll get what you want. It's also one that could take a very long time, hence the warning on the configurator. We'll get to timing in a minute, but before we look at using a customer's sample colour, given people have been through the process before, there is a list of approved colours. Here is a view of an old version of this list, so you can see an idea of the extended list of colours behind the scenes. The process will obviously be smoother if you choose from this list. Otherwise, Porsche will take your own sample and will work with their paint supplier on a feasibility check to see if it matches a number of criteria, including, mainly, quality control. Can the paint be made so that it won't fade or be substandard? Of course, the last thing Porsche wants is complaints because that gets expensive quickly. Also, a consideration is whether the colour is proprietary in any way. So think golf colours, or colours that have been solely associated with a particular model. Porsche may not want a Cayenne wearing 911 Speedster Blue, for example. But it is this process that can take months. But whilst you may end up waiting quite some time for it to work, 
and you may not get your wish. If you do, you will have something completely unique, or at least until someone else chooses your invention after you. Even if you do get your colour accepted, Porsche only opens the paint to sample window at certain times of the year and then produces all those cars at once. So not only can the process of approval take a while, but also if you don't order it when the window is open, you can be left waiting a while. So let's take a look at some of the wild and wacky creations over the years and also my favourites. There's a very good website set up and run by the Porsche Club of America called, almost inevitably, Renbo. Here's the link. It is the largest database of Porsche colours anywhere and there are literally hundreds of colours and as you can see they range from the terminally dull Harama beige or flamingo metallic to the look at me lizard green or apple green. Here are my top five though. You tell me what yours are below in the comments. Colours split opinions and I'd love to know what you would choose or what you already have. Anyway, here goes. Number five, medium ivory. Yes, a white. I think Porsche 911s look incredible in white. And this one is just off-white enough without going into a dull beige colour. Number four, summer yellow. I mentioned earlier that I am a big yellow fan. And this one is just gorgeous in my opinion. Just a great colour. Number three. I had to choose a green, as Porsche have made so very many of them. And whilst I adore the old favourites Irish green and oak green, I've chosen metallic dark green from the 911s and 912s of the late 60s. To see this on a modern Porsche would be unbelievable, I think. Number two, and I've gone with a red, actually. I love Guards Red because I think it's just a classic colour with real heritage and association with the brand over many years. But my number two is actually Cassis Red Metallic. Yes, I know, this could be a little garish and let's say arriviste for some, but I think it suits a 911 really well. And it's an interesting colour. Uh, and isn't that what it should all be about? I mean, if you're going to spend the best part of $12,000 on paint, then for goodness sake, make it interesting, right? So then, number one, and I haven't chosen a black or a silver in my top five. I haven't because, as per my previous point, they just aren't interesting enough, and that's coming from the owner of a silver 911. No, I've chosen a blue, and it's Iris Blue Pearl from the 993 of the 911. This looks wonderfully smart, and compared to the Cassis Red that I chose as my number two, cannot in any way be described as questionable taste. A truly stunning colour in my opinion. So that's our tour of Porsche colours. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to get the comments section below stuffed full of your opinions and colours that I may have missed. So do please have your say. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Please give a bloke a like if you've enjoyed it. And have a hard think about subscribing and then just do it. I will see you in the next one anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.